Hey YouTube, this is Jay Kilroy back in the shop uh, with a long overdue episode of Feed the Monster. It's been a long time since we fed the monster. It's definitely been a long time since we fed the monster this big a bite. So this week we are adding TIG welding to the repertoire uh, so that I could embarrass myself in front of all of YouTube. Um, Disclaimer, I was not sent this machine, I was not given this machine, I was not loaned this machine, I was not asked to review this machine, I have no association with the company other than being, at this time, a customer. So you're going to get the full meal deal review with no bias. Um, anyway, it's Everlast. PowerTig 325 EXT that we are going to unbox and get set up today. So we're going to move the camera around and have a go at it. Yes, so if you get on this side, you get on that side. Grab the handle. Pick straight up. Come on. Move around to that. Both got me on that side. Okay. Here. Thomas, get on this side. Oh, this side. Okay, straight up. Heavy. It only no. weighs 67 pounds. 67 pounds. Is this still recording? Oh, then you can't carry it. You're right, I'm not supposed to be carrying it, but my children. Did you enjoy that, Thomas? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas. I told you to put the foam back in the box. <laughs> so we got this thing unpacked and moved it over the bench. And for clarity's sake, I thought I'd show you a picture of the front of the item. So we're going to go over all the pieces, parts on the front of the unit. In no particular order, the negative electrode connects here. The positive electrode connects here. The gas outlet connects here, and the foot control connects here. This area up here is the control panel, and we're going to go over that in greater detail. This is the control panel. There are settings you can change directly, and settings that require a two-step process. The settings that you can change directly all have the black arrows around them. Pressing the arrow will change that setting directly. For the items that require a two-step process, you have to use the select button and then use the adjustment knob to set the value that you're interested in. As you use the select knob to hop around the control panel, the proper unit for this selection that you've made appears here. With pulse off, when you cycle through the settings with the select key, you go from pre-flow to start amps, up slope, welding amps, down slope, end amps, and post flow. If you turn TIG pulse on standard AC-DC pulse, then you set things like pulse time on, pulse amps, and pulse frequency. If you select advanced AC under TIG pulse, then you can set AC balance and AC frequency. If either of the stick options are selected, you cannot select any AC waveform or pulse options 
This machine is DC only when it comes to stick welding. All in all, the control panel appears to be fairly well laid out. Everything's labeled well, nothing's confusing. And I really doubt that with my limited use that I'll wear out the membranes or break it. Been tested. It's wet in there. Oh, oh it's, it's waterproof? It's wet. <laughs> Push the box down, me. Sun from the sides. Same with you. Okay. Hey, you grab it. One, two. Okay. It's your turn, Lauren. Who's screechy? screws out and see the juicy bits inside or not. Thomas, do you think taking all the screws out and looking at the juicy bits inside would void the warranty? What the warranty? You think it would void it? What does that mean? Make it go away, make it no good. Yeah. Uh, after thoughtful consideration, come the conclusion that since this thing came showed up dripping wet that we should find out if there's a leak in here. moisture on the inside of the case. Uh, let me get a uh, move the camera around and give you a look inside. Pardon the hand holding but that's where we are. Um, so on the front here you got your power switch the reservoir cap to the reservoir 
Um, one nice feature is they have a drain. So you can drain the reservoir easily without having to tip the whole thing, which is nice. Over here you got your two quick disconnects. And that's about it for the front panel. Uh, then um, inside here, I mean the wiring appears to be pretty neat. Um, all the construction appears to be uh, fairly well thought out. I'm not really sure what this little uh, cold water line coming from the hose here, if this is like a pressure overflow or what, but it the cold side, there's a line running from the cold side back to the tank, so I'd guess if you get too much pressure built up at, in the torch, excess could bleed off back into the tank. Um, probably not a bad idea. Um, typical of a lot of these water coolers, here's a motor doing double duty. Um, fan and pump right here. And it's a, uh, this is a 220 unit. It has a start cap on it here. Uh, 10 microfarad, 450 volts. So wired in nicely with a uh, gland fitting here. So all in all, pretty nice. Um, a little radiator here is a little three row, which is pretty nice. An anodized fins. Um, so, you know, all in all, pretty good. I don't have power to it quite yet, so I can't fire it up and let you know how loud it is. So this is how they want you to wire the plug. I'm using a 50 amp dryer plug. Um, I use the um, three blade style in my shop for 220 items. And uh, comes with a nice... Uh, Four conductor, uh, I believe it's an eight gauge four conductor wire. Um, interesting that it has a fourth wire because they they you know they say that they don't have a three phase version of this. And uh, right here it says one phase for three phase or four sixty four to use consult electrician. And then it has green ground one in three phase white. Hot one and three phase, black hot one or three phase, red hot three phase only, and it shows it taped down. I just trimmed it off here. Maybe maybe there's a possibility to do three phase. I don't know. I haven't ta I haven't taken the machine apart. So anyway, this is how they want you to wire it up here. So there you go, it's all set up, plugged in, uh, powered up. Uh, I had gas, but believe it or not, doesn't matter how much money you spend, they ship you everything you need except a piece of tungsten. Not even one little slimy piece of tungsten do they ship you. They ship you all the other little torch parts uh, by the way, the unit came with two torches, a nine-sized air-cooled torch, and a 20 water-cooled torch, uh, both of them 25 feet long, which is nice. Uh, nice, flexible hoses with these uh, denim covers, so uh, you know, all in all, pleased with that. Uh, I don't have nearly enough experience with TIG to have an opinion about torches yet, so after I get a you know, a couple hundred hours of use in this thing, then we'll figure out if uh, I want to do something about that. Uh, anyway, I got some tungsten coming tomorrow. So, um, we will 
uh, turn some perfectly good pieces of metal into scrap metal starting tomorrow. Uh, be safe in the shop, and I'll talk to you soon.